Hello guys, my name is Akil M and you are watching Tech Savior. So guys, today we are going to look at the all new Pixel Experience ROM for the Redmi Note 3 which is based on the Android P or Android 9.0. The Pixel Experience ROM was the first team which actually released the Android P ROM for the Redmi Note 3 and I have done a previous video on the Android P which was released by the Nitrogen OS team. If you haven't watched that I will leave a link to that on the description and I will leave an iCard to that video. So let us start this video. Uh, stick with me uh, up till the end of this video I, because at the end of this video I will be sharing with you the bugs that I was able to see on this ROM. First let us start by uh, showing you the blue versions and the android version. As you can see the android version is written as 9. Uh, the build number says that the pixel experience and this is an unofficial uh, version of that ROM. No, this is not the official version. This is the unofficial version of the Pixel Experience ROM for the Redmi Note 3. Now, let us uh, jump back. So, this is the home screen of the all new Android P. There isn't much change happened to over here. Now, the next change I was able to see is with the recent panel. The recent panel has been changed completely. This is all new recent panel. Um, it is a lot like the iOS by now. The recent panel actually looks quite good now. And uh, you can see a full view of all applications over here. With the previous Android, you was only able to see the uh, you know screenshot of applications up to this area. So currently you can see the full screen of those. And at the end of the uh, recent uh, is the clear button, clear all button now. Next change happened to the is the launcher. The launcher looks similar now, but the launcher functions has been changed. Uh, normally, uh, we swipe up from any word on the home screen in order to open all application. Currently, it does not work if you try to swipe from over here or over here. It don't work. You have to come over here and swipe up. Then only it will show you the all application part. Then the next change that happened to the launcher is that if you uh, you know put it a small, put it a little much up, then it opens the recent item. I will just show you. So uh, if you go on speed, then it will uh, open the all application or if you just pull a little bit, then opens the recent bar. After opening the recent bar, the icons over the down also changes. It changes to the Chrome camera settings or else it is like the uh, messaging phones, play store, etc. So if you swipe up, uh, then it will show you the whole application or if you swipe just a little bit, then it will go into the recent buzz and the icons of the town of the launcher also changes. The next thing which undergone the change is the notification panel. The notification panel lo looks a lot cool now. Uh, the functionalities of the notification panel remains the same. You can still access all the things over here and uh, all functions are the same. The next change which undergone is the settings application. Currently the settings application icons everything is colored uh, and uh, everything is currently based on the white background now. From Android P onwards it is going to be like that and uh, every icons over the settings application has been uh, colored. The next thing that I liked a lot on the Android P is the digital well-being. What this, what this is that it shows you the activity with your phone. So it records everything that you do. It shows you how, many, how much time you did you use your Google, other applications, settings and how much time did you use your phone today. So uh, after the installation of the, this ROM I have only used this phone for 7 minutes. So it is saying that 7 minutes have been used. It's uh, the down it shows the number of unlocks that I have been done today and the number of the notifications that I have received today. So I have done uh, 10 unlocks the uh, phone so I unlocked this phone 10 times this day and I got 2 notifications today. And what this, what this helps is that it helps you to uh, you know uh, slow down your usage of your phone. It helps you to understand where you are, where you are spending your time and how much time you are spending with your phone. By that way you can reduce the amount of usage of your phone. 
the next thing that i was uh, you know pretty excited was about the fingerprint scanner uh, the fingerprint scanner works nice which is great it uh, works most of the time but it takes a some amount of some amount of time sometimes sometimes it fails also it is not as perfect as what we see on the stock roms or any other roms but out of uh, five tests that i did more three times it unlocks so it is a good value most of the time it unlocks but it is also a sort of buggy uh, it always won't unlock it unlocks sometimes now let us start with the bug list actually i have to go through a very huge amount of bug list uh -huh. the first major bug that this phone has is the camera application the camera does not work over here whatever you do the camera application keeps on closing you can't actually use any of the camera is uh, you try to use the third party camera applications but the whole camera module setup is off on this phone and we can't actually use any sort of camera applications over here now the change that i saw is that on the nitrogen os you can't even turn on the flashlight but over this thing you can actually turn on the flashlight yeah i have actually switched off the flashlight but it is still on the blue color there are a lot of bugs here on this phone the next uh, major bug is the volt there is no volt feature over here volt is not enabled there is not even an option in order to enable the volt next is the bluetooth if you click on the bluetooth it always says as turning on the bluetooth after some time it will just go on off you can't actually turn on the bluetooth now it says that it is off now i click it on uh, turn on and if i pull it, it down it is still off it won't turn on um, the next bug is with the battery life the battery life has really really gone down the battery life is utterly waste now uh, you actually get a screen on time nearly about uh, two hours on the normal scenarios you can actually get uh, on other rooms you can actually get a battery life up to a five hours of screen on time over this room you can actually only get up to two hours of screen on time after a full charge which is utter failure uh, the battery life is a really really issue with this uh, room the next major issue is the performance the performance has been of the phone has been decreased very much uh, it is not like, don't get me wrong guys it is not like the snapdragon 650 of this can't handle the android p no it is not like that it can handle the android p bugs but this room has a lot of bugs and that is actually you know impacting on the performance of the phone i will be posting and my gameplay of the pubg on this uh, room soon so try to subscribe and guys if you like more videos like this please please try to hit that red subscribe button and that's all what i have to say Thank you guys, thank you for watching, have a nice day.